Snowflakers, it's Lorna again and I will be here with you for the first 25 days of December sharing with you some important uh, symbols of Christmas and uh, how English people celebrate at this festive time of year. Now today is December the 5th so let's open door number five on the advent calendar and see what picture Today's picture is an elf. Now I mentioned elves yesterday to do with Father Christmas. An elf is a magical being who has very long and pointy ears. They often wear green hats, as you can see here, sometimes with a bell on the end, and green pointy shoes, or they can also wear red or yellow or any bright colors. Now the elves live at the North Pole with Father Christmas and they work in his factory helping him make presents for children and their key concern is to make people happy, especially children. Now there's a very famous Christmas film called Elf. Have you seen it? Maybe you can go and watch it after the video and see what you think. There are many stories about elves in English culture, not necessarily connected with Christmas but the elf is a very famous figure. And let me share one of them with you now. This is called The Elves and the Shoemaker. Once there was a poor shoemaker. He had barely enough money to buy the materials to make shoes and sell them in his shop. So he and his wife were having to scrape and save to make ends meet. Now one night, while the shoemaker and his wife slept, a little group of elves crept into his workshop and began to use his materials and make the most beautiful shoes that anyone had ever seen. Now when the shoemaker and his wife woke up and found the shoes in the workshop, they were overjoyed and surprised. They didn't know who had made them, but they were sure that it was some magical and helpful spirit. They put the shoes out to be sold, and of course the shoes sold for a lot of money. Now this happened night after night and the shoemaker and his wife became richer and happier. Now one night the shoemaker and his wife crept downstairs because they were desperate to know who was making the shoes. There they saw the group of little elves happily working away with tiny hammers and little needles and threads. The next day his wife said, they looked cold. I'm going to make each of them a little coat and a hat to make sure they stay warm in the winter snow. So that's what she did. And then she left all the clothes out in the workshop. Now, when the elves came that night to do the work, they saw the clothes and clapped their hands. They put on the hats, they put on the coats. And as they had no more need to help, they left and they didn't come back. Now, the, wife, the, elf, the shoemaker and his wife were not unhappy about that for they had all the money they needed and all the loyal customers that they could want. And each night they said a little prayer and said thank you for the elves who visited them. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.